Hey, what's up everybody? This is Geeky Abhishek once again from here in Dallas, Texas and today I'm bringing you the unboxing of the Jabra Elite 65T. So if you're already a subscriber to my channel, you would know that I did a review and unboxing of the Elite 65T active version few months back and today I was able to found this at an incredible deal and I wanted to share this with you guys because you guys already know that the Elite 65T active is one of my uh, favorite and most recommended true wireless earbuds under the price tag of $100. So the last time the actives were on sale for $50, they were factory refurbished but they were sold by the Jabra, Jabra official store on all the different online platforms like Newegg, Amazon, eBay and Rakuten. So this time I got this for $40, uh, not $40, I got this for $35 on newegg.com and then I was able to find a coupon which took another $10 off so I got these for $25 plus taxes so it was, was around $27, $28 for here in Dallas, Texas. Now these as such for less than $50 or for $50 these are one of the best headphones like true wireless uh, earbuds out there uh, and one of the things that you can test uh, earbud is from their call quality so like cheaper chinese brands like aki anchor even skull candy uh, they would be decent when you listen to music using them but the true test of whether the mm, earbuds are good or not is when you actually make phone calls so even the cheaper ones like for that walmart says is a brand called their own brand or on um, those ones, what will happen is, you know, they sound decent when it comes to listening to music or watching videos. But the moment you go ahead and make a call, uh, what those are, so the microphones, uh, they only have one or two mics and they don't have any kind of uh, noise suppression or noise filtering. Or even if they have their algorithms and, um, and their mechanism or the technology behind it is not as sophisticated as what you get on these Jabras. So these are so good that you can actually go on a bike ride and then still you know talk to people and they should be able to listen to you without a problem so that's why you know when when it comes to true wireless earbuds uh, the fire test for my side is well, how about the call quality so even when samsung came with their buds buds uh, and they call it gear x and then the buds all of them were very good you know uh, in terms of when it came to sound quality or music quality they had uh, some additional features like fitness tracking options and all that but all they suffered was in the call quality and that is one of the reason i think the airpods when they came out even the first generation was so popular was people like the simplicity it didn't had all the fancy features that the samsung buds provided but it had exceptional call quality buds generation uh, the airpods generation 2 was even a um, a little bit improvement on that with a better battery life and easy pairing and then you also have the airpods pro which does support active noise cancellation but call quality again um, is excellent but those are super expensive the airpods pro is currently you can probably get them for 200 dollars uh, but it was launched at 250 plus taxes so pretty expensive and then the regular airpods uh, are around 129 dollars uh, so again uh, a lot more expensive than this puppy which is like you know 40 bucks even if you didn't uh, find the coupon or rather 35 dollars even if you didn't find the coupon so uh, companies like jabra plantronics you know they had been in existence for a really long time and they have been making business or commercial grade uh, voice communication equipment for offices um, call centers so they have a lot of technology and research behind their products. So I don't. So you can expect a certain level of quality uh, from products uh, from these companies. Um, I'm not saying that they don't have bad products. There might be one or two which would be you know not worth the money for. But you know the price at which these are available. I don't think you would be able to get another nicer pair of you know truly wireless headphones with that you know all the features and such good call quality and everything else so um let's uh, so what's the difference between the elite 65t and the elite 65t active so the two things uh, the only difference is in two things one is this is our ip55 water and dust resistance 
and the active version is IP56. The second difference is that these don't have a motion sensor. So what that does is, uh, so it doesn't have an inbuilt step counter. So what hap does that mean is that the active version is meant for, you know, for wearing uh, during workouts and gym and track your steps and stuff. So that headphone actually is a capable of tracking your steps when we go for running or walking, but these don't. But, you know, I wear my Garmin or any other kind of uh, smartwatch, so I don't really need a step tracker on my headphones. And even with the IP55 water and dust resistant, these are good to go for wearing in the gym. So these are not going to get, uh, you know, it's not going to go bad if you sweat a lot and all that. It's, these are still going to be good. But these are not going to, both, even the active version. So if you forget these in your pocket and you wash your pants in the washer, this is probably not going to survive. Uh, <laughs> So, so it's not that much water resistance, but definitely for daily usage at the gym or, you know, running and jogging uh, from your sweat and stuff or, you know, a little bit of drizzle in the rain, uh, these should do just hold up just fine. Now, let's go ahead and take a, a quick look at it. So, last time when I bought the uh, LH65 T-Active, those were $50 and they were factory refurbished. Uh, when I received them, I was surprised because what happened was... You know, it just it didn't come in the any any official packaging. It just came in a Ziploc box with a sticker that said it was refurbished. But when I took the headphones out, not only did it look like new, it also smell uh, you know smell like brand new. And then, uh, with the frequency of those refurbs being available so many times during the year, uh, you, we all guessed that probably since the newer version was out, the 75T and the 75T Active, Jauro was just clearing out the old stock and marking them as refurbished. The other surprising factor was when I registered the headphone, I got the two-year water, uh, two-year water and dust protected uh, protection warranty from Jabra. And that was another surprising because the refurbished uh, one was supposed to come with a 90-day warranty. But after registering, I got the full uh, two years warranty and I had them for, I mean, I didn't have any issues, so I never had to warranty them. But overall, I, I, I think uh, the theory, I would support the theory that they had so many left in stock after the new 75 and the 75T Active came out. Uh, that they just sold the excess inventory as the 65T and the 65T Elite uh, as refurbished. Now this time I was even more surprised. I paid the least for this, like 27 bucks, and this time I even got the actual packaging. And nowhere in the box, as you can see, does it say it's refurbished or anything. So that's why I wanted to do this video and this unboxing. I already done a uh, review of the 65T Active in terms of you know, call quality, music quality, battery life, all these specs are identical. So I'm not expecting any different kind of, you know, uh, I'm not going to do a review of how this sounds or how the call quality is. I'm not going to go into detail about that. Maybe I'll do a quick one. But I wanted to do the unboxing because the last time, you know, I got it on a Ziploc bag. So I was thinking even if it's refurbished, they could have thrown in a nice box or something. Uh, but okay, for $50, I didn't mind. But I got these for you know $35 and they have included a box and my new theory is since the 85T and the 85T Active are already out I think these these are you know two generations old now so they are clearing out the stock so this is only marked as refurbished but I'm pretty sure that these would be brand new let's go ahead and you know cut this open and see wow this does even have the plastic thingy on the top so as you can see yeah so this doesn't look refurbished to me this looks you know brand new to me yep not even a single speck of dust or anything let me smell it yep smells like new too let's go ahead and see what else is in the box okay so charging cable and then the different ear tips and then I think your quick start guide, warranty, warnings and declarations and some other, this is in English, everything is in English, so some paperwork. Uh, even here, nowhere there is any mention of that this being a refurb, pretty surprise. And then, you know, the only thing that's a little bit bad for this one is the micro USB charging, it doesn't have a USB-C, the newer 75Ts 
uh, have that let's go ahead and see what else uh, let's take a look at the earbuds uh, closer look yeah it's a struggle to open this so there is a trick I think oh, okay you have to press okay so yeah look I mean this does also have uh, you know plastics around the connectors so I'm pretty sure these were brand new I mean even though they were sold as refurbs I'm pretty sure these are uh, brand new so let me go ahead and pair it up uh, with my phone and then we'll I'll shoot the later part of the video where we'll do a quick test so before we go into the next part let me just say another thing so you know this Jabra also has a companion app on your phone and that app uh, the advantage of having that app is every time you know they make some improvements uh, they can actually they push the firmware updates so this is not you know this um, headphones the Elite 65T or the 65T Active or the 75 whichever Jabra head, uh, true wireless headphones uh, earphones that you have these are gonna get better with time so every time this uh, they work on their bugs and uh, they make the software update and then automatically pushes that through the companion app then the companion app also gives you other options like you know it gives you equalizer settings so if you like bass more you can pump up the bass uh, through the equalizer if you don't like that much bass you can turn them down the app also gives you options uh, like hear through so what it does is suppose uh, you're walking on the streets and you are crossing the roads and you want to be aware of your surroundings so that you can hear cars or uh, other motorists or bicycles or so what it does is if you have the hear through mode on so what it does is it turns on the microphones and you should be able to hear whatever is happening around you uh, through the headphones so I think that's a uh, um, especially since these are the ones that plugs into your ear so it cut off cuts off uh, you know noise as such so these are very it's kind of it can be a safety thing so I think these are very good because you know instead of having the app, you know here through through the app is another thing then there's also a few other things where you can choose a different kind of a, so if you want to meditate or take a moment off so there are different sounds that you can play through the app that will help you relax or meditate so those are the few things that I had noticed, uh, you know, um, the advantage of having, having a companion app. The companion app also does other things like you can locate your earbuds, you can make them, you know, buzz so you find them. Uh, and then warranty and other information and the serial numbers also you can get through. So, I mean, I would recommend these Jabra Elite 65Ts. Uh, over any of the other you know no whether name brands or no name brands Chinese uh, ones like you know Aki, Anchor, Bolt Tune, Skull Candy, On and the list goes on um, because this is like a you know not only this product is you know uh, you know it seems like it's a properly finished has uh, comes with a companion app incredible battery life incredible qual quality uh, good durability I had one of these for several years you know when they first came out these were almost you know 150 200 dollars uh, in price range at that time a lot of people complained about the durability but over the period of time you know um, and also depends on uh, durability is also relative right you know if I bought this for 25 dollars I'm not expecting these to last you know five years if it even works for a year I would be ha totally happy with them but if I had if I would have paid two hundred dollars I would at least want them to last you know two to three years uh, you know so that's the thing okay so that's all guys that's uh, everything for this part of the video let me go ahead and set it up and create some audio samples and I'll come back and show you those Hey, what's up everybody so now that we have done the unboxing uh, let's go ahead and do an audio test so what I'm going to do is I'm going to record some sample clips um, using three or four different kinds of uh, ear, true wireless earbuds that I currently have and then like now the, what, the audio that you're hearing is being recorded through the phone microphone using a Galaxy S20. I'm going to also use the wired headset, uh, the AKG headset that Samsung usually is bundles with the S20. Um, so you know how it sounds through a wired headset, how it sounds through you know, regular phone microphone. And then I have this uh, cheaper headphone which is called Aki 
EPT21. Um, I'm going to also record use this as one of the samples. And then I obviously have this Birds Live from Samsung. And uh, we're going to compare all these different clips so that you guys can, you know, uh, figure out which one would work best for you. So do this test. What I'm going to do is I'm, I'm thinking of going to three different places. So first it will be obviously in this room. I'm going to play a restaurant background music on YouTube that is pulled up on my TV. And then I'm going to, you know, talk and record that. And then I'm hoping that I will go out to my nearest uh, trail out here and I'm going to walk like walk and run briefly and record using the different headphones. Um, and last, I really want to go to, you know, one of these big box stores and then, you know, um, record uh, some samples too. Because what I have seen is from my personal experience that many times when I'm out shopping, I'm doing groceries or some other stuff, you know, I get a lot of calls and then wearing my wireless headphones and they just feel it's so hard for, you know, the person on the other side of the phone to hear me. Because I think sometimes these headphones use some kind of a special reflection to actually catch the sound like the microphones. So if you are in out in the open uh, and then there's background noise, uh, it just makes it very hard. So I think the biggest fire test uh, of the microphones is probably you know a big box store when it is busy um, compared to you know if I was just sitting home and you know playing a restaurant background music this does have active noise cancelling cancellation but that's for the headphone part of it uh, they do also have some noise suppression in the microphones I don't know what Oki has in terms of when it comes to microphones but Jabra, this is four mics and that's why, you know, I felt that these were really good. Whenever I was using these, nobody had ever complained that it was hard for them to hear me. And that was irrespective of the situation, whether I was working out at the gym or where I was eating out at the restaurant or was out, uh, you know, shopping or whether I was even, you know, uh, went out for a walk outside on the trail. Every time I had used this, I kind of felt nobody had any complaints. So let's go ahead and we'll do another test for you guys to see, you know, what I'm talking about. So guys, now I paired the Jabra Elite 65Ts and I'm wearing them. And uh, the audio that you're listening to is uh, through these headphones. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the TV on and have the background noise. And I'm going to keep talking for you guys to decide how it uh, feels like. So that's the background noise is in place. I'm gonna turn up the volume a little bit more. Uh, this is the kind of sample audio that you would if I if you were using the Jabra Elite 65T and if you're talking to someone on the phone. So this is how you would hear them. So this is an audio uh, clip uh, for testing out the microphone quality on the Jabra Elite 65T. Next, we will go ahead and use the other headphone. Hopefully this uh, much time is enough for you guys to, you know, evaluate uh, how these headphones are, why there is background noise. Hey guys, now I have the Zoki EPT21 headphones uh, paired up and this recording is through happening through this headphones. I'm going to turn on the background noise. Uh, now you can hear the same background noise. It's set at the same volume as that was used for the Jabra Elite 65T. So now you can see how I am sounding while I'm using this Oki EP21. Like I said, sometimes, you know, initially I was fooled by thinking these had uh, better, uh, I sounded better when I was reviewing my, uh, the audio samples for my own test and comparison. Uh, but what I dis what I found later was very surprising. That's why I included, including this time, you know, three different scenarios uh, to test it. Hopefully, this much audio is long enough for you to decide, um, you know, how these Aukis sound if there is some kind of a I don't know. So exactly like if I was sitting at a restaurant uh, and you called me, how I would sound. So you probably have a fair amount of idea on that. Now. So guys, now I have uh, the Samsung Buds Live. So I'm recording this video and the audio using these headphones. So let me go ahead and turn on the TV again and the background noise so that you can decide how these sound while I'm in a quiet environment versus if I was 
sitting in a restaurant, how I would, and if you called me, how I would sound. So the TV is in the same volume, like the background noise as the other headphones. And um, this test should show you basically how these headphones are, or these earbuds are in filtering out background noise. So I always think that the quality of the microphones on a true wireless earbud is very important, especially when phones these don't come with a you know standard 3.5 mm headphone jack. Uh, you need a pair of you know Bluetooth wireless headphones that you would daily use for listening to music or attending calls. And since due to the global pandemic situation, most of us are working from home, and we are having to actually attend uh, a lot of meetings on our phone. And it's very important that uh, the quality of the microphone on these headphones are really good. So I think uh, this clip is now long enough for you to decide how these uh, buds live did. And I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, we're gonna now go ahead and uh, shoot, test out another. Okay, guys. So now um, I am recording it through the AKG headphones that come packaged with the Samsung Galaxy S20. So I'm going, let's go ahead and turn the background noise. So that's typical background sound from that of a restaurant. And um, I'm using the wired headphones, while most phones don't like to have a headphone jack included. Uh, for even I have several of these true wireless earbuds. I can't, you know, I mean, for me, these are essential. These are essential. I mean, it is always, I would prefer to have a phone which has a, a standard 3.5 mm headphone jack. If not, at least, you know, they should include a USB-C headphones uh, because you don't have to charge this. That's the biggest advantage. Especially, you know, sometimes when you are someone who is always on the phone or you have long meetings and calls that you attend uh, through your phone, uh, sometimes you know all day none of these you know true wireless headphones no matter how much they claim their battery life is if you are constant calls none of them last you know 12 hours uh, that you know some might might be working for a day so I think uh, this sample is now long enough uh, and we this concludes the audio test from inside the home and uh, now I'm gonna go to the trail and do the other recordings Hey, so guys, uh, I'm beginning the test of uh, each of these headphones here and outside. So right now I am making this recording through the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live. And uh, I'm going to do the same thing with the rest of the earbuds. So this test, what I'm showing is like if I was, you know, taking a stroll outside, there's a nice screech here, very scenic and then there's highway you can see the cars moving so there would there is noise uh, from the traffic as well as uh, noise from the gentle breeze that's blowing over this creek and then i'm also going to run a little wearing this earbuds and that way you can decide how good or bad the microphone quality is uh, is on these set of earbuds so uh, right now you can probably hear the noise from the traffic on the highway uh, and you can also probably hearing a little bit of uh, you know gentle breeze not too breezy but it, it's not super windy uh, but there's a very slight you know gentle breeze so let me go and walk uh, to the start of the trail and then i'm just going to start running and i'll continue talking so that you guys can see how it how i sound and how these headphones or earbuds work if I was to, if you were talking to me on a phone, uh, I'm gonna do the same thing with the rest of the earbuds too. Sorry, it's kind of okay. uh, almost there. It's very uneven <laughs> to the way to the trail, so I kind of slipped a bit, but I'm fine. Okay, so I'm at the beginning of the trail, and let me start running. So now that I am talking, this is just a sample test of the Galaxy Buds Live. This is how you would hear the audio to be captured by the Buds Live if you were to, you know, go running. And this is how, you know, the person on the other side of the phone would hear you. 
<laughs> this is a practical example of the audio clip with some fast cars just going by so we'll do the same thing with the other hey now i'm gonna test out the jabra elite 65t i'm sorry uh i'm gonna like really funny thing happened when i was uh shooting this uh, this is my second attempt at shooting this jabra elite 65t because when i started uh running i actually fell and that's why i'm kind of you know still laughing at myself uh, because i was trying to rush it and uh okay so jokes apart uh so i'm recording this using the jabra 65 elite and i'm in the same spot as when i was with the previous headphone so close to the bridge close to the highway so everything that you are hearing now in the background is the noise from the vehicles on the highway as well as the breeze that's blowing over the creek i'm going to go over towards the end uh while they have the trail i'm going to start running and i'm going to try to also speak at the same time so that you guys can better judge how this uh the mics on this earbuds how they work when if you are out running and this is a scary place i got once i got bitten by a bee oh and it was in it was got into my hair and i was trying to brush it off and then it bit my finger and that was painful i think my finger i was able to take the sting out immediately but still it hurt me like a little over a week uh that my finger was like all swollen and red and really really itchy and painful so there you go guys almost ready to start the running so here i am running and talking is in the jabra elite 65t you can tell how good this headphone is if you were i'm sorry no call while running okay guys so i think this is a long enough sample let's try with the other headphone hello everybody so now i am actually recording this video to so this oki ept21 as you can see and once again in the same spot where uh where, where I shot the video wearing the other earbuds so this is how it would sound if i wasn't moving and i was just outside you know right by the creek right by the highways i'm going to wait a while seems like not many cars are coming um it was busier earlier um and uh, yeah once again okay and then i'm going to go ahead and start running with these one of the problems with these headphones i faced was they wouldn't stay in my ears at all you know i never had problems with the apple airpods both generation 1 and generation 2 uh the only time they would fall off from my ears was like if i was doing a vigorous workout but other than that you know they were mostly okay they were absolutely fine walking around um probably not so good while running but if i was doing you know if i was uh on the elliptical it would be fine it would never fall off my ears but these okay ones i don't know i think it depends on person to person was my friend said he got the same headphones sorry earphones and he said this fit him really nicely okay i'm on the back on the trail i start running so this is how you would hear the audio from the oki ept21 everyone <laughs> knew i was running yeah so this is like how the audio sample quality test is hey guys so now i'm actually using the wired headphone to shoot this part of the video uh um, just to use this as a baseline for testing it out i'm not so sure, sure if i need to uh take a sample without anything on i don't think you guys will be able to hear me while running if i don't have any kind of earplugs on but um, i'll let's see if it's needed we'll do it uh and then we'll see how it goes we can compare you know all the different scenarios so again i'm back at the same spot by the creek by the highway so all the background noise still there from the traffic 
and also wind blowing over this since this is kind of an open space creates a little bit of turbulence and uh, I'm walking towards the end of the street where the trail starts and uh, I'm gonna, once I reach there I'll start running and we're gonna record it like my voice while I'm running while I'm wearing this wired headphone the only thing uh, variable here is if I hold this close to the mouth it becomes very clear but when it falls apart I mean when it you know falls on its place uh, then it might sound a little as if I'm speaking from far but this is another advantage like if you have a wired headphone you can actually bring it close to your mouth and speak through it okay let's go ahead I'm gonna start running so this is an audio sample being recorded while I'm running and as you can see the airbag actually slipped from my ears and fell but I'm gonna still keep running because this is more like a real life test and these things can happen anytime hey guys so I'm here at Walmart this is the fire test of everything because open space a lot of background noise music playing and then if the if you can hear me well through the headphones in this condition I think that headphone is actually the champ so right now I'm using uh, the Samsung Buds live here uh, to make this sample and uh, let me know how you guys what you guys think about it can you hear me well can you hear me uh, I'm also wearing a mask so I think that might make a difference as uh, to the sound quality because it gets kind of muffled here but even if you can hear me clearly then uh, these buds are nice uh, let's move on and try the next one so guys now I'm using the Jabra l 65T I'm in the same aisle here at Walmart for some reason the hockeys uh, I forgot to charge them so they are out of charge so I don't know if I have to come back and uh, test out the hockeys oh, man it sucks but overall uh, this is fine let me let me just at least go ahead and shoot the other uh, samples so let me know how how you guys uh, what you guys feel about uh, the Jabra l 65 ts here uh, I am making this recording through them so you know you can judge for yourself how the uh, quality of the microphones on those ones hey guys so now i am recording this video using the microphones on the phone itself so i'm not it's not plugged into or there's no bluetooth connected so this we can use as a reference or baseline as to the quality of the audio recording uh first as um, i mean through the phone microphone versus you know the wireless earbuds so i am again i'm in the same aisle here at walmart uh like i had mentioned before this is the fire taste of all true wireless earbuds because if you can hear me clearly on in here then most likely uh, you can hear me in every other situation hey guys i am back at walmart uh, the aki i told you before right the battery for the aki's went down so i had to go back in my car and get charge them for a while uh, so that i could do it the only uh, the other thing that i noticed was these headphones uh, don't have a usb-c it's a regular micro USB so I couldn't uh, pull out a USB-C charger from one of the display laptops and charge this thing so I had to go out all the way and sit in my car Thank luckily I had a cable and I charged it for some time and then now I'm making this video so again I'm back in the same aisle as I was before uh, so I mean it's more crowded now uh, music is still on so you guys can better judge you know how these headphones sound compared to the others uh, <clears throat> because like i had meant like i mentioned in every sample or of this clip that this is the fire test of true any truly wireless earbuds uh, the quality of the mic uh, whether it can make it or break it is basically dependent on how good they sound if i was here at walmart uh, if this sound if you can hear me fine and then these are absolutely you know the winner if you don't sound me good then these are trash so that's how i would rate them that's all guys bye hey guys so i did the samples from each of the headphones so just like i had mentioned in the beginning um i made a recording inside the room 
I made a recording while I went running and then I made a recording while I was at one of the big box stores and to me surprisingly I thought you know these Jabra Elite 65 T's would win hands down but they didn't to me the best quality I found from the wired headphones go figure Apple go figure Samsung all of you basically killed the headphone jack but uh, of all the samples that I have recorded I felt in terms of noise isolation when it comes to the microphones it worked the wired headphones worked the best even though there was background noise there was audio you know music playing and Walmart uh, the when I was I when I made the recording while I was um, using the wired headphones that turned out to be super awesome and then it also has the added flexibility where you can bring it up close to your mouth and speak to it you can even put it inside the mask and then that would make sure that you know the person on the other side would be able to hear you no matter what the second best was actually the buds live sometimes i thought initially when i did the testing i thought you know why these are so expensive if it's worth to buy these for 180 dollars the retail price um, it does have it's still cheaper than the airpods pro and uh, has a better design because these sits outside your ear so they don't go in so it doesn't get your ears uh, feel tired after wearing them for extended periods of time but again 180 dollars still expensive uh, for a true earless earbuds where you can actually lose them if it falls out and all that you you can actually lose them so i, I was a bit skeptical about getting these but after after i reviewed all the samples i felt that uh, these are actually pretty good so what it does is what i noticed was even if there is a lot of background noise this kind of uh, amplifies your whatever you are speaking so your voice so uh, it, it, so if you are wearing this and on a phone conversation with someone or if you are on a video conference call uh, what's going to happen is even if there's a lot of background noise you can still hear the background noise but it amp it selectively amplifies your whatever you are speaking so your voice so that helps you know to cut out like that makes it very easier for people on the other side of the phone or on the call to be able to hear you prominently now the Aukis uh, these are the cheapest and uh, I the reason I said these are expensive the Buds Live at $180 versus this at $30 I actually got them for $15 and I was like you know if you can get 80% of the experience that you get uh, with these why would you even want to spend so much on uh, these versus why not get that one but you know I noticed uh, issues in less than 30 days of purchasing it I'm actually planning on returning this I made a separate video of the different issues that I'm facing with these and that's why I wouldn't ever recommend this so but in terms of the audio samples uh, from the Yaki, what I felt was uh, it also, I mean, it, the microphones are very clear, but at the same time, it is sensitive towards the voice as well as the background. So it amplifies both. So if I was in a crowded environment and speaking through the Yaki ones, you would not only be able to hear my voice louder, but you would also hear the background noises louder. So it, it's kind of, uh, it's so, so, so the bottom line is, that these are only good if you are indoors or if you are in a quiet environment then these are absolutely you know fantastic for the price uh, but if you are you know someone who is always out and about or out or you know you are sitting at a coffee shop and attending a meeting or a conference call then these might not work that well and in fact these might not work at all because you know it amplifies the background noise as well as uh, now uh, so that's about it that's the basically the conclusion the proof is in the pudding so i have recorded this uh, separate audio samples in three different scenarios i've shared it with you guys and it's totally up to you to decide you know which ear, uh, earbuds works best for you see the Aki is at uh, 30 dollars the jabra l8 also at 30 dollars so you know overall i would still say the jabra elites are winners for the because i don't uh, i don't think i can find a better pair of uh, true wireless earbuds uh, like the Jabra's so they are not very far behind the performance that I got with the Buds Life uh, these are uh, definitely better but this is almost like 180 versus these being you know $30 um, for which I got them for so 
and even if you take the daily regular price of $50 still it's like almost you know one fourth the price of the uh, buds live uh, so and then it doesn't have any of the other issues that I faced with the Oki. Uh, it also has several other features like you do have a companion app so you get firmware updates you have other settings that you can uh, do using the app like you can do equalizer settings you can also uh, you know change the settings through a like they have a pass through or a hear through I assume you can adjust that you can also create virtual environments like you can turn on white noise like meditation music or for other some kind other kind of music uh, or just white noise or help you you know concentrate battery life is also pretty good um, I mean it is on par with those on the buds live uh, the Aukis had overall great battery life but again it suffered like some kind of a defect where it will start you know heating up and I could feel them getting warm um, within my ears I got scared because I felt like it's gonna either burn my ears or it's gonna catch fire or it might explode and you know cause me to go deaf and when it starts heating up that's when also the battery you know runs out very quickly so within like 10 minutes it will just run out um, so that's why i can't recommend the Aki. i have nothing against them but overall uh, i think the winner uh, if it comes to the best uh, sound quality as well as the uh, microphone quality uh, irrespective of the situation uh, the WAD headset, the AKG head paired uh, headset that came with the Galaxy S20 that won hands down. The next was the Galaxy Live um, and then followed by the Jabra Elite and then the performance is Aki. But overall, if you are a price conscious uh, and you want something in budget, then this Jabra Elite 65 ts are definitely a good choice to go for and it's my recommendation for a true earless earbuds under $50 price range or even $100 price range. That's all guys, that's pretty much everything for this uh, video. Hopefully you would find this useful and if you do like it, don't uh, forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends. Also subscribe to my channel and help your brother grow. I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, have a good one. Bye.